Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's video, I just want to talk about Jupiter being debilitated in Capricorn. I mentioned this in the December 2020 outlook. I'll put a link above so that you can refer back to that. I basically said in that episode that protection powers, the protection powers of Jupiter might be weak at this time. And it was an interesting thing for me to say because I kind of just said it, but I didn't think too much about it. And the next day I had time to really sit down with my notebook and think about it and, you know, really get it straight in my head. And a lot of things became crystal clear. So what I will do is I'll be making this video about Jupiter being debilitated because this will be up until from now up until about April. I will also take a look at Jupiter and Saturn together and I will also take a look at Saturn and Pluto together. I might also take a look at Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, I'll see, but I think these videos are really going to cover it. We'll have a look in more depth. It's really very interesting. This is a very unique time. All three of these were last in Capricorn, I believe in 1285, if I've got that right. I clicked through the years and it's a long time ago that they've been together in Capricorn. So this is a very, very special event, especially because they are such influential planets when it comes to astrology. They're so important. So let's take a look at the protection powers of Jupiter. Now this is a very narrow and specific thing that I'm looking at, very, very specific. And I don't often look at Jupiter as being a great protector. I always think of Jupiter as wisdom, truth, the desire to seek truth, the desire to find the truth. We go on these journeys to find the truth, right? We go on these long mental journeys to find the truth. And that's very ninth house, right? We go on massive journeys through the mind and in person as well. The ninth house also, you know, is, is travel in that way. But I also do think of it as mental travel and the number of thoughts and concepts and man-made systems of thoughts that can be required and, and that get devised on these long mental journeys. It's quite incredible what goes on in the ninth house there. So that's really... On this side of the veil and then of course Jupiter goes on the other side of the veil where Jupiter looks at everything I mean all the barriers and boundaries are taken away and it's this giant quantum soup where everything can happen and you know it's uh, a lot of reality there right it, it's different is what that is so I mean this is all very fascinating but let's take a look from just the pure angle of protection. Now, why do I want to look at protection? I started thinking about this after I did that December outlook and I realized, oh, I see, this is why I think about protection. Well, one of the reasons is because Jupiter represents a husband in a female's chart. And, you know, it's very important. Women know this, that you should marry Jupiter and not Mars, right? Mars might be more fun, but <laughs> Jupiter is the one that you want to marry. So let's take a look here. Jupiter is exalted here in the fourth house of home. Isn't that interesting? And that's the husband protects, doesn't he? He protects the family, he protects the home. That's one of the key functions there. And what do we have here? It's you know, Cancer is here. Cancer is the crab, right? And this is my wonderful drawing of a crab. Let's give him some eyes. There we go, fantastic. Look at that. So it's quite lifelike. Now, Jupiter loves being here in the fourth house. And I think he's quite homesick when he ends up here, which is basically where he's going to be for the next few months. He's going to be a bit homesick. He's going to be missing something. Things aren't going to feel quite right here and he's going to be diminished he's going to be debilitated is the light going to be switched off no i think i mentioned that in the december video and i, I shouldn't have said switched off that wasn't very precise the light is never switched off but it's diminished it's debilitated it, it's not operating on its full power we do have a bit of nietzsche bangaraj yoga 
power potential here it's there because Jupiter will be in here with Saturn right Saturn is here Jupiter's here and then we're going to have Pluto's kind of on the edge here coming in to the house you know that they're all three going to be together it's going to be quite an amazing time and I'm really interested to know what that's going to mean how that's going to manifest in the collective it's very interesting so let's take a look at some dates quickly and I'm going to go through all the signs did I mention that I can't remember if I mentioned that I had to record this I'm recording this a second time because the memory card filled up anyway Jupiter is in deep debilitation of five degrees on 16 December so that's a, an interesting date to look out for or thereabouts okay so it's not exactly 16th it's, it's thereabouts uh, I was a bit rough in as I was looking through the dates now it's in a square with Mars from 25th December to 22nd Feb I do think that that's a time where there could be tension things may not um, go so well and I'll, I'll talk about how and why in a moment so I think I've covered the Nietzsche Bunga Raj Yoga power potential it is there but as Hart Defoe and Robert Svoboda say even if a planet is being saved by all kinds of Nietzsche Bunga Raj Yoga and all kinds of wonderful things that are happening to the planet that's debilitated it is still debilitated right there will still be some manifestation of its debilitation of its weakness that will still be there so let's take a look at what these weaknesses could be now in a collective sense I was thinking about this this morning and I was thinking about finances the financial area and I was thinking about that because it's Capricorn which is money and it is finances and it is governance and all these kinds of things the other reason I was thinking about that is because we've got so we've got Rahu there and Ketu there so we'll come to that in a moment so when it comes to financial protection what is that that's insurance that's legal levers controls and mechanisms to protect the rich those things might fail right there's a possibility for that now a desire for perfection in finances could backfire why am I saying that and that's the Rahu Ketu thing we've got Rahu in Taurus and we've got Ketu here in Scorpio Taurus of course is long-term savings and wealth and Ketu is other people's money so the other thing about Ketu is that it's the place where we want to achieve perfection where we think we can achieve perfection as well which is a trap right we think we can be perfect there we're not supposed to and that's what's going to be quite interesting here because I do think I've got a note here that you might be riding high thinking you're going to make everything financially or politically perfect and then things collapse okay so you can interpret that how you would like now that's Ketu in the eighth house there, there could be you might think to yourself well I can really make everything perfect I can do this 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 and my plan will succeed and no problems and it's a surefire thing it's going to work that might not be the case so you know I've got a note here is there a potential for a house of cards to collapse do we have those kind of conditions yes we do right so this is something to keep our eyes open and watch over the coming weeks and months so that's what I'm saying is happening there for the collective and that's where I'm talking about you know the top 10% of the top 10% of the top like the top 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 people kind of thing they might be having to worry about some of that as for us are we going to have to worry about that no not really uh, I think you know protection powers are a bit weak and I did think about this for individuals how will that manifest is that going to be problematic for all of us I, I don't think it's going to be too problematic the thing is that you know I've got the note here for good honest people no worries right there's never a problem and if anything sometimes these conditions are brilliant for spiritual work they're brilliant to progress they're brilliant to do really well right so if you're very much on the spiritual path and if you're doing the good honest life well this is a time to profit this is a time potentially to do really well okay so let's take a look at all the different signs I'm going to go through each one I've got just a couple of sentences of notes on each and you can take a look what you can do is you can listen to the whole thing because it won't take too long I'll go very quick 
but uh, equally you can and then you can listen out for your moon placement your sun placement your ascendant so you can listen for all three in this you can also I'm going to write the name of each sign as I go so you can use your left and right uh, buttons on your keyboard to just scoot ahead or you can use the preview thing I won't timestamp it below but I'll just edit it in such a way that it should be easy to find your sign so let's take a look at Aries Aries productivity at work may drop there might be an internal sense that you find yourself homesick for some reason you might be at home you might be going home every day or working from home but there might there might be some strange sense that you feel like you don't belong or you're missing other times or that kind of feeling might arise over this time now Taurus and know that this time will pass okay so all of this is going to change and pass but it just could be the time of this uh, duration that I'm talking about Taurus I've got the note here don't fall asleep at the wheel regarding your beliefs okay so stay in charge of your beliefs if you feel like you know the truth stick with that okay or what you believe that's important to you be with that and be sure to tune out of the mainstream okay you don't need it uh, because this is quite influential time for you you've got Rahu moon going on here so um, you know the other thing is that your courage your sense of your courage may dip a little bit you might feel that you're not as courageous to pursue things or do things might take extra effort to be courageous around this time Gemini what's happening for you well for you it's money okay money across the board so good idea to protect your money or spend less right you might also find yourself missing family so clearly we're, I'm looking at that 2-8 line there for you uh, and that's yeah you might miss your family at this time cancer so your business or marriage may need extra work at this time you might be missing spending time alone you might be surrounded by a lot of people or maybe you're at home working from home it's a busy household everyone's there but you might have this sense that you don't get to have time on your own or it doesn't feel that way and you might be missing just really connecting in with yourself so if you're feeling that way try to put in a little bit of extra effort to carve out some alone time some me time if that's what you need so yeah you might be missing that feeling that sense of who I truly am at my core you know maybe that's um, something you can put a bit of consciousness towards Leo Leo you may be competing more at work you might find that you have to put a bit more effort to compete at work or in your service okay but that's all right it's just for a time you might also find yourself missing those days where you could escape where it was easy to escape where it was easy to just get on a plane and go two or three hours somewhere or whatever it is right perhaps that's not so easy to do anymore you might be missing that a little bit um, you might want to escape but it might not be so easy to do don't worry this time will pass Virgo Virgo you might not be feeling so creative don't worry that impulse will return okay you know when you've got all the ideas coming and it feels great and you're writing things down if you're not feeling it if you're not feeling connected don't worry about it that will come back uh, you might find yourself missing old work contacts or friends so that's another thing to watch out for Libra you might be missing old workplaces and this old workplaces thing I think it is a bit of a common theme for all signs actually because we are dealing with Capricorn and that is about work so that's quite interesting but you might be missing old workplaces home may not feel like home for some reason this too will pass okay so Scorpio just noticing that my camera battery is flickering I'll try and get through this Scorpio you may not be feeling so courageous from a Jupiter point of view but also your beliefs are being worked through so this is really quite interesting it is beliefs and courage for you so we're clearly working through that three nine line there uh, guard your beliefs you know if you feel like you know the truth you stick with that don't have to share it with everyone don't have to talk about it be you okay whatever that is um, and lessen your time with the mainstream if you can Sagittarius something about being with family might make you feel restless okay so you might be cooped up with family it might be making you feel restless um, this is also a time to protect your wealth and your assets Capricorn your sense of self may feel different at this time because of this Jupiter you might be missing an ex 
partner, an ex-lover, someone you were married to, um, or a business that you ran at a certain time of your life. Aquarius, if you've been feeling isolated, that could deepen a little bit over this time. You might miss being out there in the world, you know, serving or doing your work in the way that you used to. This is just a phase and this is going to pass. So there might be a little bit more isolation type energy uh, over this phase. Pisces, protect what you have worked for. Okay, if you feel like you've worked hard to build something up or assets or whatever it is, then you protect that. Uh, you might also find yourself missing an old romance, some old flame that was in your life. You might find yourself missing that person. You also might not feel so creative or that that energy is out of reach uh, at certain points with this Jupiter debilitated. So know that this is just a phase and it's definitely going to pass. So I hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned on the channel. There will be more content around what's happening specifically in the sky over these months. I do want to create some more support pieces for this time because I think it is a very important time. So let me know how you get on with this video and I look forward to seeing you next time.